Chase? He's probably still mixed into the briefing room. He should return shortly. Can I? Scar competition, no, that's for sure. Horns, Thanks. greens, whole system. Five field ready Hollands? I knew he made it to recruiting, but progress at this pace is astounding. Yeah, life's been coming at us kind of fast these days. I wonder if he even let Holcroft know. Holcroft? Like the Mark Holcroft? He's the principal investor in the ESU, Artasa as well. The three of us were more or less partners before. Before I decided it would be better if I returned to my work here. We learned how to run. And then it was time to learn how to walk. Precisely two of the brains. Every time we uploaded you to one, we shunted a copy to the other. You were ready for missions much earlier than anticipated. Your successes were incredibly encouraging. The Colonel's interest in Genlock reached a fever pitch. As did the Union's. You are all we've got. Way to sell it. We need you. You have an opportunity no one else has to master this new technology. And in doing so, perhaps turn the tide of the war. You think we're going to Luke Skywalker the war for you? That's a very nice fairy tale. I'm going to fight with you, but I'm going to fight with you. I'm going to I wouldn't want it any other way. If you want to return to your previous lives, I'll tell the Colonel anything you want, that you were incompatible after all. You'll be free to go. All I ask is that you try Genlock one time. Can't say I'm crazy about trusting my brain to appease it. Their usual MO is to edge into the next area and shove the polity and its sympathizers out with a minimum of collateral damage. They want the infrastructure intact. Maybe they finally decided to cripple the ether. Do you even listen? Insufficient uptime to cover both travel and the mission itself. This is how you're usually deployed. We fly you in, you upload, go take care of business, then you download back into your human body as quickly as possible, you fly home. At the risk of bringing our bodies closer to the action, can you tell how thrilled I am? Uh, hangar 2. Joking. You were tested ages ago, all of you, really. Uh, anyone who worked for the polity. Oh, come now. You don't think your health is the only thing being screened at your... You, yeah, your health screenings. Do you? The things they inject you with and all the extra data they collect that... That you are presumably welcome to inquire about to your uh, medical officer. Moving on. Chase passed the Weller test. And yes, he named it after himself. When you invent technology that changes the course of human history, you're welcome to name your procedures however you like. They are beautiful.
ボ将軍じゃないかお前俺をロボ将軍にしたのか Yeah, you got some catching up to do on the manga. Great. Yeah, alright, I'm still working on it. It's certainly better than Cyberdome. I'm telling you, it's gonna catch on. Chase here is the world's first human to successfully achieve what we refer to as Genlock. Phase one, I know. Which in this case means he uploaded his mind to the cybernetic brain inside his holon, allowing him to operate the mech much as though it was his own body. Miss Madrani here represents the second such success. It was she who inhabited the other holon that aided you earlier. It's obviously a lot to digest. We should leave it here for us. I know about Genlock. Notes, theories, plans. So, probably best you don't broadcast exactly what he is. Now, um, I'm not good with the personal touch. Um, opening up is something I've struggled with, uh, and that has cost me over the years. And as you are seeing this message, it means it also cost me the ability to tell you in person. How much you mean to me. You are each so very special. I regret I shall not have the chance to see all your finer moments that lie ahead. But you share such a unique bond. <laughs> Envelopes, Jason, come in. Tempest, Jason. Self apologies. On behalf of the ESU, thank you for all your time thus far. Testing for our program, but you're not done. Not quite yet. But we passed. You advanced to the finals, but there are some things we can only know if we deal with each other eye to eye. If it doesn't work out, you'll be on your way home on the next transport. Home, says he. ここに来るために地球を半周してきたやつもいるんだぜ。And we just got off the plane. Certainly experimented, knowing them, they probably brainwashed you, damaged or wiped portions of you, and then Angle was left back at us. And that brain's been running non-stop ever since. Who knows what that would do to a mind? The real me got turned into that. I'm a copy, a code branch. Another chance? A what if? You're real to them. To us. To me. I don't know if that's a good thing.
opportunities you are given. That's all I'm asking. These ideals, you make it sound so simple. It's not. I had such high hopes for how Genlock could be used to expand communications, understanding, improve the human condition, all its potential. And of course, the first thing we do is weaponize it. But maybe, just maybe, if we're made to fight, we can apply it a new way. Save more lives, protect those who can't protect themselves, buy some time for others. Before they were compromised, scout drones relayed images of an industrial complex. Layout and support facilities suggest manufacturing, perhaps even production of nanotech. Lieutenant? Like the Colonel said, we're going preemptive on this one. We'll slip in, wreck shop, and get out. Baker squad and Genlock team will take out the air defense grid. Charlie's squad will move in for a quick look-see, confirm our intelligence. Then we take down the AA and paint the joint for an aerial strike. And get the hell out of Dodge fast as we can. That's an affirmative. After having held the line for so long, we're going to cross it. Deal some damage I, back. I'd be proud to be on the uh, engineering liaison. We're admitting Leon to our neuromedical facility. They've got the best shot at assessing his condition. I promise we'll provide the best possible care. Pre-flight's done. Good to go. Take care of yourselves. You'll see us again soon.